What is up guys? Welcome to another beautiful day here at the Ricer Ranch. It's a little bit cold outside, but anyway, today we are doing a video with the Magic Rice Bus right there. It's got the wheels, as you guys know. It's got the wheel spacers to get that dirt nasty stance. It's got the light bar, it's also got the winch, it's got the dope headlights. But up next, we gotta make this thing even sketchier. In order to do that, Oxbeam knew about our dilemma and they sent us two new packages. As I was saying, we got two new packages. Right here, we have this dope switch assembly. I got a little antsy, I already opened it. But in this, you have the switch here, which connects to this box, which lets you control all your lights and whatnot. You can connect everything to this box, very easy, via positive and negative and then your battery also connects to this box and connected to this box is the switch which is totally customizable for all your accessories anything from fans to lights to hub they also sent us this which I'm pretty sure is underglow for the van all right, boys, yep, we got it. We got our next level horsepower right here. Look at this, RGB rock light instructions. We don't need those. Free extra five horsepower. We got another control box here. These, I believe, put off, I guess, the Bluetooth to uh, control it from the app on your phone. This looks just like the one on the light bar, which was very easy to hook up to my phone. See, here's our positive and negative. This is gonna go to our new switch box. Got the rock light. We got all eight lights connected to the control box with this. Let's take a look at this. So it looks like, yep. All right, this just pops right open. It comes with extra fuses up here. And then these are what you unscrew to connect each of your positive and negatives to. So all this really is is a fuse box. This will let you eliminate all the little fuses you might splice in or might have for. Anyway, as I was saying, you connect your appliances and whatnot right to it. As it comes set up, low ramp stuff is down on this end, high ramp stuff is on this end, but it comes with fuses and I'm sure you can change it as you want it. Look, we got our power cable cables to the battery uh -huh. and then this one here plugs into this guy and that goes to this I'm assuming <clears throat> oh check this out we even got some mounting plates we got zip ties button all right guys I got everything all laid out here I'm, I'm I'm getting excited I'm just gonna jump into the install before it gets too dark here and I'll show you everything when it's done Noko here. Yeah. Alright guys, so we got everything connected up here, just like in the diagram. And a um, couple complaints right off the bat. They sent me these two products to give a review, and I'm very grateful for that, but one thing that's a little bit annoying, when I power it on here, I don't know if you can see that. So right now it says the rock lights are on, but obviously they're not on. I have to click it again for them to come on. So I'm not sure what's up with that. It's every other time they come on. Um, and then complaint number two would be the instructions. For some reason, they give you this like set of three control cables right here. Um, they plug in right here next to these other ones, and all three of them, they're just sort of spliced off like that. Um, and the directions are very, they're a little bit confusing with them. It's just explained very weird here. So they tell you how to connect each one of these, and then they'd say the exact same thing right here on the diagram. But pretty much they say the red cable connects to the positive if you want to have this on when the car isn't running. And then they say the yellow cable connects the width lamp to the master switch panel. And none of this stuff is labeled width lamp, so I really don't know what they mean by that. The yellow cable connects the width lamp to the master switch panel. So I don't know what a width lamp is. Um, I mean, that's the master switch panel. Yeah, so it's saying this yellow one connects the width lamp to the master switch panel. There's nothing else you can connect it to on here. I mean, we've looked at everything. Um, I have no idea what they're talking about by width lamp. I mean, maybe that's a wide LED light bar, but none of this stuff is labeled. So I think that could be, uh, maybe if that stuff was labeled, this would be a little easier. Then they say the white cable 
is the panel light brightness control cable. It controls three brightness levels by each switching, period. It controls three brightness levels by each switching. It's like, switching what though? Yeah. It, like it's worded kind of weird. So they say this controls the brightness on here, and which it does. Um, so again, that's on right now. Or supposed to be. It doesn't say what to connect it to. It just says it controls three brightness levels by each switching. So I don't know if you're supposed to switch it between like different connections on here, but the only thing we got it to do was by putting it on the positive and like tapping it on and off. I'll see if I can get it to do it. It will dim it. And I did get it to dim to three different levels, but it's just very strange. I do really like how the buttons on this are and how I'm gonna be able to label it. I mean, I'm not an electrician, I'm not good at this stuff. Maybe some of you guys are laughing at me right now because I'm missing something big here, but I do think maybe the wording could be a little bit better. Either way, we are gonna go onward with this install and put all the rock lights underneath the van. Let's get it. Are those my girlfriend's gloves? No. No? Oh, okay. No, they probably are. Very quick here, while I do have these on, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect. Um, you just turn Bluetooth on, you have to have this app do downloaded, I'll put a link in the description. They have the link all over their website. So for this underglow, I'm gonna put it as bottom, just like that, click confirm. So now I have two lights installed on my vehicle here, and that will let me control the bottom ones, which are gonna be these. So we'll go to mode, and I'll try to breathe here, and look at that. You can make your own modes here, like I do cop lights and stuff. Gotta have the cop lights, so like, pretty easy to connect. So um, always check everything before you install it, and I think we're good to go. Yeah, the app's actually pretty nice. Yeah, like. I do like the app. I mean, I think that'll work right there. Yeah. Just nice and professional, doesn't it, James? Oh, it looks nice. It's a fifty thousand dollar tow job. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's not even bad. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so this is the final result right here. And I have to say I'm really happy with how these lights came out. So Flex Fuel and James just left. It was getting pretty late, pretty fast here. And uh, we sort of just hustled through the rest of the install. But let me show you what's going on. So we found uh, it was easiest to use self tappers for most of these. Uh, they do come with their own hardware. And we did use their own hardware for a couple of them. But for like the fenders, we just use self tappers. After we mounted all the lights, I routed the wiring to basically underneath the center of the van. That's where I mounted the control box and I pretty much just had all the wiring come to the center of the van. That ended up being the easiest for this installation. I'm really liking these lights though. Let me show you, see if we can see the wiring here. All right, so looking underneath the van, we we're pretty much dead center here. That is where I mounted the control box. That might be temporary for now. It seems to be working fine. I might try to put it in like a, in a waterproof protective housing, but we shall see. Here's another look under the fenders. Just use self tappers on that. And then I routed the wiring down the side. I picked up some little plastic clips from uh, Lowe's and self tapper them on to keep everything nice and neat. Definitely really happy with how this came out. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to purchase these rock lights or the switch box that Oxbeam sent me, please use the links in the description down below. Go check them out and uh, yeah, pick yourself up some for your own sketchy rigs. Thanks again for watching today's video. Lots of more content coming soon and I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay sketchy.